Checking in, um, I wanted to show you, I'm gonna do this video in two parts. I wanna show you a couple things. Uh, one is this amazing amp that the boys from Marshall were kind enough to send me. It's called a JTM Studio. And it's a, it's got two 5881s and uh, I reckon it's about 40 or 50 watts switchable down to 20. It's got all kind of crazy effects loops on it and um, lots of cool features. Very lightweight. You can get it in a head or a combo, but you know, the guy uh, that I've known for years, a guy named Hugh Gilmartin, who I, I met back in the day when he um, used to work for Diodario. And uh, he's working for Marshall now. And he, he said, man, you got to try this new amp that we got. It's, uh, it's like, pretty faithful recreation of some of their earlier stuff, you know, uh, not really going down the modern road. And he thought maybe I would like it because, you know, he, he knows I like the old stuff. And man, I got it in the mail today, opened up the box and plugged it in. I was blown away by how good it sounds. Uh, truly amazing. Um, playing this 1967 uh, Epiphone Al Keola model, which you guys may remember from the Groon video I did a while back. Um, Unbelievably cool guitar. Uh, lots of uh, crazy sounds you can get with this thing, with all these uh, switches. It's kind of like um, a deluxe laid out veritone guitar, where you get this really wide range of like lo-fi sounds coming out of these two P90s. Uh, and God, this guitar plays amazing. Um, I've been using it in the studio for a while, and uh, I decided I'm gonna let this one go. So. Uh, as much as I love this guitar, I'm gonna sell it and make some room for some other stuff that I'm looking for. And uh, I think somebody out there will love this guitar. It was uh, Corey at Groon's favorite instrument in the store, and uh, he was sad to see it go, but um, it's a special guitar. I probably should keep it, but you know me, man. I, I just, I sell pretty much everything after a while. But this is a cool guitar, it's fully hollow, but there's no F-holes. Super lightweight, 
Um, this is a pretty rare model. Al Keola was a, uh, a session man as well. And it's got some unique features that you will not find in any guitar. It's got a tunematic uh, bridge as well, so its intonation is really spot on. Beautiful guitar. Um, uh, I'm gonna put, if anybody's interested, um, contact me via my email. Um, I'm in love with this little Marshall amp. They make them in heads and combos, so uh, the cabinets that these come with are unbelievably cool looking. I just looked them up online. I'll, I'll put a picture of one up on the uh, end of this video. I'll, I'll splice together a couple things. And uh, I just wanted to show you that. And I wanted to say thanks to Hugh for sending this really cool amp. Absolutely love it. And um, I got a couple other things I'm gonna be selling too. I got a couple amps I'm gonna be selling. Uh, I'm gonna sell my old Ampeg Super Echo Twin ET2 and a beautiful old Epiphone uh, uh, combo amp that I have from the early 60s. And uh, I'll splice on a couple images of that at the end of this video. If anybody's interested, you're welcome to come and look at them. I'm not gonna ship any amps, but I, as always, I'll ship a guitar, but not, not any amps. You have to come get that in person. But thanks again to Hugh for uh, sending this beautiful amp. And uh, thanks to all the homeschoolers for all the kind comments on the recent videos. And uh, I'll see you all real soon, okay? Take care. Yeah, guys, check this out. Here's that Marshall um, JTM Studio. Um, you got two channels, uh, treble and, and normal, like any old Marshall. It's got the really cool Coffin Badge logo. Very lightweight. Um, it's got lots of crazy modern features, um, several different, uh, impedance selected outputs, DI out, effects loops, all that stuff. Um, very cool amp, uh, man, very lightweight. It doesn't weigh very much at all. Um, it gets good and loud and the distortion that it, that it, the clean sounds are really beautiful and the overdrive is just fantastic. Um, and like I said, uh, the cabinets that they come with are really cool looking. I'll, I'll post a video of that too. There you go. And here's that 67 Epiphone Alkaola. Um, it's got your late sixties chrome reflectors, um, several different settings of, uh, it's like an elaborate veritone. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's a uh, it's a really cool setup where you get all a wide array of like lo-fi tones. Beautiful Brazilian board. It has a unusual dot at the first fret. It's got the elongated Epiphone headstock. It's common for the late '60s. No monkey business. No breaks. No cracks. Original tuners. Double line cluesons. Um, a bit of sort of finished checking on the back. Super lightweight. Um, plays beautiful. Uh, I never even considered getting it refretted. It looks like the frets may be original. I'm not sure. Maybe not. Uh, but it plays so good, I never even thought about getting it refretted, honestly. Original gray hard show case. There you go. And here are two uh, cool old amps that are up on the sale block. This is a early 60s Epiphone Zephyr with a single 12. It's got reverb and it sounds awesome. You guys have heard this in some of my earlier videos. Uh, it's got an old Jensen in it. Uh, I'll show you here. And uh, Evo has looked at this one. He's been through it. It's running great. Here's an old uh, Ampeg. ET2 Super Echo Twin 212. These are a very strange sort of stereo amp. Um, you guys have heard this in earlier videos too. Sounds really good. These are kind of hard to find. Um, Evo's looked at this one too. And these amps are, are, are both for sale, but I'm not going to ship either one of them because I hate shipping amps. So if you guys are interested, let's figure out something where you can come and look at them in person. Okay.